okay and we're back so now I will show you how to control an intensity of an LED using a BWM signal coming from the Arduino so we will select the duty cycle of the BWM signal from live view send it to the Arduino and then the Arduino will use it to control the intensity of an LED so it's basic wiring diagram ground is connected to ground which is the blue wire and I'm going to choose pin 9 of the Arduino for PWM now normally you would put a resistor here for protection not to burn up the LED but if you actually read the data sheets of your microcontrollers and LEDs that you know that an LED can survive a current of 30 milliamps and it will not burn up and any normal microcontroller especially the Arduino microcontroller at Mega328 it will give out a maximum high current of I think 30 milliamps 28 milliamps give and take so there is low possibility of it burning it so there is no need for me to add an extra resistor yes it's a good idea to put a resistor there just to not to load the power supply of your microcontroller but for this demonstration it's more than enough to do the job so with that in mind let's minimize the screen open up love you I have my old project still open control T okay so here you can see we still have the same port and everything now here you can still consider PWM as a digital IO why because it's between 0 and 5 logic levels it does not go between any more than that but here you have to change it instead of pin 13 to pin number 9 and here instead of using digital write we will have to use PWM so we'll remove this part and of course we'll get so many break wires but not a problem delete this part it's not needed anymore okay get rid of any unwanted break wires because they will really make it hard for you to set up everything if they are still there okay now it's gone now we go to Arduino and then go to low level and from low level select just PWM right place it and you're halfway done so connect resources to resources error to error again error to error and here now I'll select the PWM pin which is going to be pin number 9 and finally duty cycle duty cycle so we'll create a control we'll go back to our front panel and see that we have a numeric input from 0 to 255 to control the duty cycle of the LED now comes the actual hardware connections now let's do them so we have this LED here actually let me zoom out a little bit for you to see it so this is a white LED as you can see no, no I'm sorry take it back it's not white it's blue you'll see in a second so I'll place it here on the breadboard okay and do the wiring so let's see ground with the ground as we did in the diagram so one two rf and ground and another pin will be taken connected from this part to pin number nine good so actually let us zoom a little bit if we can if it allows us to do it it does 
out. Okay, I think that's good enough for the zoom. Now let's run the actual code here. So run. Right now you are sending zero, so mm. actually there's a problem. If you, it's good that it happened, so you guys should know what to deal with it here. You see it? When the RX pin of the Arduino keeps blinking, that means there is a problem and it will not work. And you will probably have to restart your Arduino. So just press the restart button. And the code should be working normally. But let me see, give me a sec to try and apply something. So if I tell you 10, nothing. So code is not working, so stop execution for a second. And as you can see, there was an error. And that error is shown here. Some problem habit with the communication with the COM port. Probably because I think when I was fiddling around, I terminated the communication between the Arduino and the uh, LabVIEW without using an actual stop button. I just broke the execution which is wrong. So let me just check. Mm, com, it's still COM5, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try again. Run it. Yeah, now it works. So if you ever face that problem, just reset the Arduino, it will work normally. Now, let's see. So right now it's at 10. If I, for example, make it 50, Intensity increases. If I make it 100, intensity gets brighter. And if you go up to 255, it gets even brighter. Okay, let's settle it down back to zero. Not zero, uh, 10. Okay. And stop the execution of the program. Okay. As you can see, when it ended, the error out said that there was no problems and the Arduino communication went fine and smoothly. Um, of course, some people are not satisfied with entering numbers directly and then pressing enter. They prefer to see a knob. Okay, since you want a knob, you will get a knob. So we'll go here, create, silver, numeric, and then knob. Make a big knob here. Stretch it out. Of course, I don't want it to be a double type. I'll have to change it to be an integer because the BWM will not understand double or floating numbers. It will only understand integer numbers. So for example, the maximum limit here is 10. I'm gonna change it to 255. Now, if you double click on it, should take you back to okay so it doesn't want to listen to me what do I care I'll just go to the log diagram so here's the knob as you can see the knob is of a double type which is not going to be accepted if you give it to the PWM right. So what do you do? You have to convert it to integer. The easiest way is just to right click, properties, wait for it to load, and now data type representation instead of double, choose integer 16 bits because it's 255. As you can see, it changed to blue. It means it became an integer type. Connect it here, and you are ready to go. Let's go back, turn it on. Okay, so as I move the knob, the intensity also changes rapidly as I move the knob. Okay, so that's about it for this tutorial about PWM. So as you can see, you are we are using the PWM signal of the microcontroller that control the intensity coming out of an LED. Now, that's 
not the only use for PWM. You can use PWM to control servo motors. You can use PWM to control speed of DC motors. But for this representation, just to prove a concept for you guys, this LED is more than enough. And that's it. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. And hope you enjoyed the tutorial.